Okay, wow. Um, last night, I uh, had a mentorship session with my mentor. Uh, last night was, God, what was that? Monday night, Monday night. The Sunday night session uh, that me and Phil had was kind of um, just general chit-chat for about 30 minutes. So the real informational um, mentorship part got pushed back and he went over some historical stuff. Um, uh, some more deeper background information instead of a technique. This was more information background, which I do appreciate and I like. Um, mm, as a result of that, at the very end, he asked a question. He goes, you got any questions? And it's like, throughout this, the question had been building up. Something I have put out here, part of what I've put out here on these videos, about this, um, what I asked was, I've got this feeling of this emerald green armor. And I've mentioned that in several videos. I even sent him through uh, a link to my bit shoot video when, when that happened, driving down to the pink house in the car. When I got this emerald green, I'm like, it's emerald green, it's sparkling with some silver, almost like scales. I didn't know how to explain it, but it's more like, what I found out later, it seems to be more like crystals. And when I say sparkling, um, and it points, um, it's points, um, points, um, instead of scales round, it's points, but I didn't know how to explain it. So I brought that up to him. I said, because I have no clue. I literally have no clue. And I still don't, I've never heard anybody talk about this. So I thought, well, he's got all this information. He knows this information. I'm going to ask him the question. So I asked him about that. And he said, well, there is these different auric fields kind of thing. There is a field out there that is this emerald green kind of crystal sparkly structure or something that's out there. And that may be part of it. And he went a little more details, but he knew what I was talking about. So I'm like, wow. He knows a little bit about what I'm talking about, what it feels like. So that was nice because I've never heard anyone talk about it so I asked the question and he was able to explain some of that with this auric field out there and what he mentioned that I've got to look into I, he he's referring me to some of these manuals um, for me to go check out because I'm not jumping forward I haven't read forward um, on all of this stuff so he's referring me to some stuff to check out and uh, he mentioned that there may be something out there helping me um, and that is maybe part of it and I'm like well yay you see how dense I am sometimes I can use all the help I can get you know I'm dense uh, I can use all the help I can get yeah I'm pretty dense sometimes one of the techniques that also that we've done in the past it brings you up to a certain stage and then at some point in doing this i don't know if it's weeks or months but at some point you get this um symbol this this image of a symbol that's kind of your personal symbol kind of thing kind of thing instantly i mean instantly i didn't tell him that because this was going on during our, one of our past sessions. I didn't tell him instantly. I didn't tell him until today, last night, uh, that there was this symbol because I didn't know how to explain it. It seems so weird and just weird because uh, what it was is it's like a big sword, like a big sword with a point pointing down. It came in through my forehead, down to the center of my body, and it's inside of me. And it's like a big shiny sword. I mean, instantly, that's what happened. It didn't take weeks or months. It was instantly. And it's just like, that can't be real. Surely that's just my imagination because it didn't take a long time for this to happen, weeks or a month, and you get the symbol over time. No, this was instant. It was just instant um, because I don't know. I don't know any of this kind of stuff. And this was one of the big questions still hanging out there. I even have it in my videos several of my videos that I don't know why this is here. I have no clue why this is here, why I'm feeling this. I have no clue. 
And I told him that. So I don't know why this is here. Do you have any clue? Because I don't. But he understood. Talked about the green, emerald green, auric field kind of thing. And I'm going to look into that. And then when I told him about the sword, he goes, he kind of perked up and was like, yeah, that's actually in this book, in one of these techniques, that um, this kind of thing can happen. And he talks about it. He talks about several different aspects of it, but it's a silver sword. And he goes, that's actually one of the techniques. He gave me the number, the, the page number in the book to refer to that I don't think we've gone over yet. We haven't gone over yet. And I'm going to check it out and start looking into it. But it seemed like... It surprised him a bit that I'm talking about this kind of thing. Um, and, and what he thought was neat is that I'm having these experiences, these things happening without being told about them. And I've mentioned in other videos about backward learning. That's not, I don't know how to describe it, but things were happening. And then I get confirmation later. And these were two outstanding things that have been out there hanging hanging around me, literally, in me, around me, and I didn't know how to explain them, so I asked him, and sure enough, there's an explanation for this, and he explained it, um, and he said, it's really kind of neat that this is happening without me knowing what is happening, without me learning about it first, because a lot of people can learn about it and, and hear about it and learn about it, but it never happens to them. And I'm having it happen to me, and I've never learned this yet. And so, I don't know. My catchphrase, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm glad I'm getting some explanations when it happens. Um, I appreciate that it's happening. And like I said, I am dense, so I can use all the help. Whoever's trying to help me, I can use all the help I can get. Because I am dense. <laughs> so dense. So dense. Just got out of the shower. Decided to look up that information on the silver sword in one of the manuals he gave me. And spot on to the page number he referenced. There it was. It was stuff we hadn't gone over before. And there it was. Right there in black and white. With that silver sword. How very funny. No idea. I had no clue. Anyway. Anyway. I decided to uh, keep looking up, trying to look up stuff, so I opened up a few more manuals and I ran across something. It was um, a symbol of three circles, kind of overlapping in the center to form that weird little center point, but three circles. And beside it was Emerald Order of Somebody. I'm still not real familiar with names or all that. All this is still real new to me. Uh, so I have a hard time remembering all these names I've never even heard before or how to pronounce some of this stuff. So a lot of that's new, um, but that was related to Emerald also. And I'm like, well, that's funny. That's just kind of a funny thing. Um, the funniest, funny thing was on that same page, besides that, um, there were the other symbols. There was a symbol with almost like a wave with another wave. I'm like, that's familiar. Um, I have a video out there on light language and I'm talking about writing it and on the thumbnail photo out there on the website, I have a yellow card and it's like, that's some of the symbols that I write with is that symbol. It's like, that's funny. And then at the very bottom page, there's another symbol, simple symbol. It's just a circle with a dot in the center. And that's also in when I write like that, that circle with a dot in the center is in there as well. Uh, it has something to do with Ruby. Uh, the circle with the dot in it, Ruby something. I have no idea what that is all about. None. Uh, I stopped at that point. I'm like, okay, this is getting too much for me to handle without any kind of context on what any of this is supposed to be. So we just stop right here. Um, but the three circles like that, I, I don't think I have it in here, that manual. But this field did a kind of guided meditation thing, and I'll put a link to that below. Um, and that was the first image he put up was with this guided meditation. And in that video, this is before Phil was my mentor, and in that video, I say as soon as I saw that, it was this instantly, instantly, this feeling of family, and it was overwhelming. 
He is like, family, this is home. This is home. You know, it's those three circles together like that. And it was just overwhelming home. And that has something to do with emerald order or something. And I'm like, well, there's that emerald color again. How funny. So, I don't know. I stopped looking. Uh, I got things to do. I would need to run some bags of clothing to the local church where they resell it. I need to give some stuff to my neighbor that we've cleaned out of the house. Give some stuff to my parents that have cleaned out of the house. The house is finally clean. There's a few little knickknacks that we've stacked up in the kitchen here and there that I've got to take to the shop. Just get it out of the house. Otherwise, we're done with the house. All right. Got my uh, little microphone thing here from uh, the earbuds. My sound on the phone is acting a little weird. Uh, it's been a day since I made this other video, so I'm adding this here in at the end. Um, house little trinkets and stuff is picked up. I can show you that the house is finally clean. Let me turn this around. See if you can see. That shelf and all that down there was full of junk. Well, junk. All my wife's massage stuff and other really knick-knack junk. It's all clean. All those cabinets cleaned out. Yay. I mean, finally, it's all clean. Oh, so may eventually have to get a real microphone for this phone because the onboard microphone is acting weird. Uh, anyway, I wanted to throw this in here about this silver sword thing. Um, I've thought about it for a day. I didn't know how I was going to put it in here, but what it comes down to is being open, kind, gentle, and honest. That's what it all comes down to. Oh, I got my little bit shit cup too. They sent me a cup. Anyway, what it comes down to is being open, kind, gentle, and honest. So here's the honest part. I had forgotten about this sword. This sword has been with me for a long time. It happened after that walk-in experience uh, when I was a teenager. Uh, so I felt this when I was a teenager with this sword. And I knew the end the sword was a weapon. When I did fighting with these dark entities that I see and stuff, the sword's not used for that. That's not what it's for. Um, it's it's not a weapon. It, even then, I knew it was not a weapon. And, you know, you're going through your life and my working career uh, over in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I completely forgot about it. But when Phil did that technique of you're supposed to get this symbol, that instantly came back into mind. I mean, it was bright, blaring, and there. It's like, that's it. That's a symbol. And it's like, okay, boy, there was nothing else getting through other than that. Um but I did not tell Phil that, that this symbol happened when I was a teenager after this walk-in experience. Um, it has something to do with comfort, this technique, a comforting touch, comforting people, comforting animals, com uh, comforting nature. Um, so I find that interesting. Uh, but I had forgotten about it, and then that's when it came more and back instantly during that technique, just instantly. The uh, other thing that I've got to be open, kind, gentle, and honest about with that, um, because I don't know what's going on with all this stuff is just happening, but I have to include this. It wasn't just that. There was another symbol overlaying it that goes with it. It's not just the sword by itself. And I would do this with my whole arms doing this motion. Uh, kind of thing, but it what this motion that went with it, I don't know why I was doing this. Zero, zero idea of why I'm doing this. Just none, just zero ideas. Um, but to go along with it was this motion that I did with my whole arms. It would go, like if I'm imaging the sword, uh, and this point is down, um, the heel is like across the shoulder area, um, coming across the shoulder area and the sword is pointing down through the body. His body's kind of shaped like that anyway, right? It's kind of shaped like that. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. It's kind of shaped like that. But it would come up, like up, along the um, blade, and get to the hilt, then out, then actually fans out and curls up to the top of the pommel, I guess, back down to the hilt, and then it comes out like an edge, further out like this. And it's like it never crosses the center of the blade. The symbol never actually crosses the center of the blade, the center of the sword. It doesn't cross it, so it's a reflection, 
one to the other on each side of this symbol. This half a symbol here, half the symbol here makes up the whole thing. The other odd piece to that, that I have no idea why or anything else, there was another one that got added in there. So there's that symbol that does that. But if it comes up, the second piece to that symbol was come, come back up the same way that this came down, come back up, but then cross and it crosses and it crosses the center of the sword. And when that happens, the sword flips and turns and the point is pointing up and out past the head. The hilt is still here in the shoulders, but it's reversed and the point is up and past the head uh, when it crosses like that. And I don't know why. And then the last piece is to come back up flare and up and straight up like this above the head. And when that happens, this sword image comes all the way up and out and it just starts shining really, really bright. It just starts shining. And that was when I was a teenager. And then when we did this technique, that instantly came to mind, instantly. I did not tell Phil all this uh, because it's crazy enough, all this other stuff, and I don't know. There it is, catchphrase. Um, I don't want to push too fast with people. I don't want to scare people away. I don't want to scare Phil away. I don't want to scare anybody away. Um, but all this kind of stuff happened. I mean, it's all real, real. This really happened. I'm not making any of this up. This is all happening. This sort of thing was teenager after that walk-in experience. And I can't tell you why, why or anything else about it why that happened, why that symbol was there, why the second part of that symbol was there overlaying the sword. I have no idea, none, um, but I can't just throw, throw this on a person, uh, not even my mentor like that. So yeah, I'm still learning. I'll always be learning. <laughs>